going on there, guys? We back with another one, and got to talk about Ja Morant being a crash dummy again. Now, guys, you all remember the incident where Ja Morant and a 17-year-old got into it in his backyard and led to a fight where they said Ja got the better of the kid, and, you know, that's pretty much all we heard about it the first time, you know, that there was, uh, the kid was planning to file a lawsuit, whatever. Well, more details came out about that and they said that after the fight occurred Ja entered the home and re-emerged with a gun in his waistband with his hand you know clutching it and on first when you first hear that it sounds like you know Ja is just trying to be like that again but keep in mind you know he's he's in the Memphis area and from reports, it says, you know, when it was filed to the police report that the kid uh, said he's about to come light this thing up like Christmas and he's going to pretty much come back and spend Ja's house. That's why Ja came back with the gun. Okay, so we have that incident, but also have an incident involving mall security. Uh, employee at the finish line. Got into a verbal altercation with Ja's mother. Now, I can only speculate how that came about. You know, she could be totally, totally uh, innocent in this. But sometimes when you get these family members, and I've just seen it firsthand, where they feel, they start to feel above common people. And feels like because her son is Ja Morant, she can go in and talk to the employees any kind of way that... Uh, these people are just going to take it. You know, you know who I am. You know who my son is. You know, that that whole type of vibe. So, um, long story short, it says uh, she gets into it with the employee and then she goes and calls Ja. Ja arrives shortly thereafter um, asking, you know, gets into it with the guy saying, what time does he get off, you know? Nine people with him, too. Don't let me leave that part out. Ja arrives with nine of his guys and threatening, you know, the guy. And the police arrive to the scene and were asked to leave. And so Ja and them, they finally leave the premises, but not before pushing uh, one, of the, one of the security guards in the head on the way out. So... He actually, he pushed the, the director of mall security in the head on the way out. And Ja has set himself up for his career to come to a screeching halt. He's making enemies he don't know he's making right now. Trying to be the toughest NBA player in the world is not going to end well for him. He has to travel to all these cities. He's not the type that's going to stay in his room pretty much. So he's going to be out amongst the people. And you're going to be rolling with nine people or whatever, 20 people. And you're going to run up on the wrong person affiliated with the wrong things one day. And you're going to think you have a large crowd and you're going to run up on one person and your crowd is going to be surrounded by a larger crowd. One of my family members told me about something like this. You know, he was in the military. He went out with some of his guys. And, you know, the guy was getting drunk and he, he thought he was the big man in the club. He ran up in this dude's face and it was pointing, you know, pointing in his face and everything. He said, everybody, seems like everybody that wasn't with them around the club stood up and they worked that dude and not and not that my family member was actually with that guy like that because they were soldiers in the military but he thought just because he was a soldier that nobody was going to jump on him and the person that he was attacking was a was a boss and the whole club stood up around him and was with working under the guy that he ran up on. And I just say that to say Ja's going to walk right into a trap one day with this lifestyle. Mom, let me holler at you. You've seen the narratives out there about Ja. 
and you've seen some of the things that he's been involved with. Why would you stir up strife in him over an argument where your life wasn't on the line to have him come out there? You know a son is going to be emotional about something going on with his mom. It's good. He's going to automatically assume the worst in his mind and he's going to be in pursuit. And for you to call him there Stir, stir up his spirit like that. Have him call up his guys and come up there with a crash dummy mentality. Speaks very negatively to some of the things you're doing right now. What if y'all would have went up there, something would have went down, and y'all lost it all overnight? That's something to think about. And 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 I'm not coming down on you i'm coming down on you some but i'm not coming down on you in the way that you didn't do what you had to do for him to get here that's all i'm saying you know y'all made a lot of sacrifices for him to be at this point so for him to be riding on somebody over a finish line argument at a shoe store he's above that at this point he doesn't you could have just waited to get home and say, son, you know, I got into it with the guy at the store, but it ain't that serious. Or if you know he's going to fly off the handle like that, keep that to yourself. You could, I'm pretty sure you could have walked out that store, got in your vehicle and went home and never mentioned it to Ja again. Why would you even put that on him and call him to turn up in that way? I, I don't know, man. This family, it's like, I've never seen a narrative around somebody change so much. If your friends going to be around you, if put a, if your friends are only around you because of who you used to be and you have to continue to be who you used to be and not be the person you've leveled up to, it might be time to find some new friends. And the reason I say that is not because nobody's too good or nobody's better than the next man, but now you have a daughter, you have other responsibilities that you need to take care of and you worked all your life to be in this position yes some things may have been tough coming up some things probably happened in the streets coming up not even doubting that i know exactly exactly the traps that plague us in our inner cities or in our rural areas in this case down south but to put that on the line in that fashion man and then the Indiana Pacers incident. You know, you're saying it's false, and now this comes out. So why would we believe that's false? You want people to think that you're a gangster rapper. Or that, no, forget rapper. Just think you're a gangster. And what is that exactly? You know, you have a daughter. <laughs> you... The thing, the people that you think you owe loyalty to, you don't. Your daughter is the one you owe all the loyalty to. And part of that loyalty is staying alive and being out of, and not involving yourself in dumb stuff. Because one day, you know, God forbid, something happens with your daughter. And you, you locked up. You can't even crash out for your daughter. At least be available to crash out for your kid. You see what I'm saying? If need be. Don't crash out before your kid is of age and then get behind them walls and hear all the horrible things that your kid's having to endure and you can't even crash out for them. That That's all I'm saying, you know. And a real friend would understand that and a real friend would tell you to stay away from those situations. You would be about to go up there and a real friend won't always say, let's go, bro. They'll say, you know what, bro? We need to fall back on this one because you got too much to lose. Let's go up there. Let's go up there. Check on mama. See is mama good. Even exchange words with the individual. But I ain't up there to to shoot up the ball or to, to beat nobody down. He can only win in that. You can't win in that. And just remember that, man. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.